In Tech Matters, the Planetary Defense Coordination Office. This month, NASA formally established the PDCO. It supervises all agency-funded projects that find and characterize asteroids and comets that pass near Earth's orbit around the sun. It's been dubbed the Armageddon Office. Joining me with more is Lindley Johnson, Planetary Defense Officer at NASA. What a cool title, Lindley. I hope NASA orders you some new business cards. Yeah. Let's start with the uh, technology. How does NASA detect and track near-Earth objects? Well, we use uh, largely ground-based telescopes uh, that are surveying the sky every uh, night of the month that the uh, sky is clear and we can uh, see these objects, except for during a full moon. These objects are too dim to be seen when the moon is full in the sky. Now, this field really began to mature in 1998 when NASA started compiling surveys of near-Earth objects. Our viewers might be surprised to learn you detect about 1,500 of them each year. Give us a cross-section of those objects, Lindley. What are they, how big are they, and what kind of risk do they pose? Well, that number of 1,500 objects, that uh, uh, varies from uh, objects that might be as uh, big as a mile across, although we're not finding very many of those these days since we've found the larger part of that population, all the way to objects as uh, small as a, only a meter in size. As a matter of fact, in the last couple of days, we've uh, found a couple of very small objects of uh, only one or two meters in size that have uh, passed uh, within uh, about 20,000 miles of the Earth. It's amazing. It's almost like you're finding grains of sand in the ocean. Now, the Planetary <laughs> Defense Coordination Office isn't an entirely new venture at NASA. The concept's been under consideration since 2010, so why now? Well, with uh, the increased uh, visibility in this, uh, in this issue, uh, events like Chelyabinsk in uh, 2013, where a 20-meter-sized asteroid uh, came in over the uh, Russian city of Chelyabinsk, blew out a few windows, uh, right. injured a few people. Uh, that has gotten the increased intention, and uh, our office has gotten increased funding uh, over the last few years. We went from about $10 million uh, to $20 million in uh, 2012 to 40 million dollars and now in 2016 the uh, 50 million dollar program here at NASA so it uh, warrants the additional attention and uh, uh, planning that uh, is necessary uh, in this endeavor. President Obama wants to send a human mission to an asteroid. Congress has approved the funds for that. What's the timeline here? Well the uh, first steps in that are what we call the asteroid redirect mission. Uh, this will be testing technology that uh, is important to our journey to Mars, uh, things like solar electric propulsion and movement of large uh, masses through interplanetary space. Asteroid redirect mission will go to uh, a near-Earth asteroid, uh, collect a boulder off the surface, uh, do a gravity tractor demonstration to uh, divert that asteroid off of its trajectory a little bit and then bring that boulder back into lunar orbit where the astronauts will go up and uh, take samples. Now, Lindley, your office will coordinate with FEMA, the Defense Department, and other agencies and international counterparts. What happens when you find a massive asteroid or comet headed straight for Earth? Well, the primary objective of uh, the PDCO is to find such a thing uh, as many years in advance as we can so that we've got plenty of time to uh, do something about it. But. Uh, uh, if an object is detected, uh, the Minor Planet Center, which we work with, uh, international uh, database of, of all comets and asteroids in the solar system, will be one of the first to know. The observations come in there from the world uh, and they do the initial orbit determination. They will alert uh, myself and others uh, if there is a uh, credible threat. Uh, we compare our results with our counterparts and uh, like the European Space Agency, and then uh, if there is a credible possibility of an impact, uh, we uh, channel that information uh, through the administrator, NASA administrator, to the White House. What do you think about the term Armageddon office? It certainly gets our attention. <laughs> well, it, uh, it uh, does get attention. Uh, it, uh, the public relates to that, having seen a movie a few years ago uh, uh, that uh, dealt with this subject. Uh, but our whole purpose is to prevent something like uh, such a disaster as Armageddon, and that's why we're here. Real quick before you go, has recent technology helped you do your job better? For example, we've got supercomputers now, things that we didn't have 10, 20 years ago. Oh, for sure. I, I mean, the whole digitization of imaging, uh, imaging process, that's the whole thing that makes this uh, possible. And 
and uh, why we can take these wide area surveys and quickly find any moving objects in there and uh, get that those observations correlated and uh, develop the orbit. So uh, yes, technology plays a very important part and uh, we are taking uh, advantage of uh, new processing technology uh, every day in this business. Yeah, it might be hard to do this with Kodachrome. <laughs> That's for sure, Lin yes. Lindley Johnson, Planetary Defense Officer at NASA. Thanks and good luck, Lindley. Thank you, thank you very much.